Kim here from The Handy Woman DIY. Don't roll over when it comes to updating your room. Painting is one of the most rewarding things you can do to your home. On this episode, we slice into the process of proper painting. Painting your walls can instantly change the mood of your house. It is also one of the easiest and most affordable things you can do to dramatically change the look of any room you want. When it comes to painting, there are only two things you need to know. Proper rolling technique and how to cut in to form seamless edges. After you've removed all the coverings from the light switches and sockets, you always want to start with the edges of the wall to make rolling the paint easier. Since we're working with a latex paint, you'll need a two and a half inch angled latex brush. Dip the brush about a quarter inch into the paint and remove the paint from the side of the brush that's going to be against the wall or trim. Now let's put some paint on the wall. Your first stroke should be about one or two inches away from the edge. The trick is to use long strokes to reduce the amount of brush marks. The second pass requires a steady hand and being relaxed. Put a little bit of pressure on the brush and run it slowly along the edge. It's not a race, just aim to make a clean smooth line. If you do paint over the edge, the fix is to just simply wait for the paint to dry and then repaint over with the desired color. If you don't have a steady hand or like the added protection, you can tape all the edges with painter's tape. Just place the tape on the edge against the wall and cut into it like normal. Then, once the paint is dried, gently run a razor blade in between the edge of the tape and the wall to ensure a sharp edge. Repeat this process with the ceiling, door frames, and corners. And then, you are ready to finish the wall. For the rest of your wall, you'll need a roller cage, a painting tray, a painting pole, and a roller sleeve with a half inch nap. It's a good idea to invest in a good sleeve. The cheap ones will create twice the work and give you a less than ideal finish. Assemble your roller and fill the well of your tray with your desired color. Push your roller all the way into the well to make sure the paint gets deep inside. Roll it off into the tray a few times so that you don't make a mess. Put your fully loaded roller about midway on the wall, about three strokes back from where you want to end. Using big sweeping strokes, move your roller along the wall, making sure you overlap your previous work. For a cleaner finish, put more pressure on the arm side of the roller. If you move the roller too fast, it'll splatter all over the place. Though it's tempting to cut in all the walls at once, it's important to finish one wall at a time. Be sure to clean your brushes so they will be ready for next time. When the paint is dry, you'll want to make the rest of your house look just as amazing. Just be careful of your friends and family who ask for your help for their homes. This has been Kim from The Handy Woman DIY. Don't let the small projects build up. 